What's going on guys, it's your boy Siobhan here back with a new video and today we have another desk setup upgrades. I, I won't really name this one because I have another one coming up soon which is my office desk setup upgrades. You guys don't want to miss that one. But today we have a couple new products, you could probably see them behind me over here. So we have some stuff from Govi, we have some stuff from Elgato. Orbit key and the Govi stuff I have right here guys is gonna increase the aesthetic around the desk like really good So we have the Govi RGB IC strips. So I have the light strips and also the flow bars guys So currently I'm using like Philips hue play bars and also Philips LED light strip But these Govi light strips and flow bars does way more than what the Philips hue could do for a fraction of the price So these goes for um, around $30 Canadian and the Philips Hue stuff, like the Philips Hue LED light strip goes for $100 Canadian. So you guys are gonna see the differences soon. But yeah, whew, without any further ado, let's get started, let's go. All right guys, so just looking at my desk, I always wanna let you guys know I'm grateful of how everything is. I'm super thankful, but you know, products comes in and sometimes you just have to find a way to incorporate them into videos. And one thing that I actually wanted to change was the Philips Hue light strips around here. So currently, if you could look up here, you could see I already have the Govi light installed and this is sick, right? You could do all these effects. So I wanted that to be on my desk. So having those cool effects on my desk, that's something Philips Hue um, light strips can't do. Another thing, I've been having a lot of issues with my Logitech Blue Yeti X microphone. Like it just doesn't sound as good as it's supposed to be. So hopefully the Elgato Wave 3 will fix that. And yeah, we just have to go to work and get everything sorted out. So the first thing we're gonna do is change out the light strips. Also, I want to have the Govi play bars around the back of the monitor. So at nighttime, I could illuminate around the back right here. So that's gonna be really nice to have lights all around the desk looking really sick, just setting the mood. So yeah, let's get started with setting up. The first thing we're gonna set up is the Govi LED light strips around the back of the table. So now we have to remove the Philips Hue ones. Okay, so now we have everything on box. I know what you guys are saying, Siobhan, this is crazy, blah, blah, blah. But don't worry, guys, I got this. So we have the Wave 3 mic over here. We have the Govi flow bars. We have the Govi LED light strips. And the first thing we're gonna install, as I said before, was the Govi light strips. So I just need to remove the Philips Hue one. We're gonna place these flow bars behind the monitors. And also, the flow bar came with this the camera thing that you could place on like your TV or your monitors and then it will capture the colors on the screen and then relay that onto the flow bar itself. So it's kind of cool to do that. So you have like adaptive colors, really nice immersion if you're watching movies or playing games or something of that sort. I'm not gonna lie, I've been talking a lot. Enough of the talking, it's time to get to work. <laughs> Step one completed, Philips Hue strips out. Now it's time to put in the Govi strips. Who'd have thought taking out some LED light strips would be such a pain. But yeah, these are gonna look way better. Trust me, you'll see it. Okay, finally after about 15 minutes I installed the LED light strips. It took a while because I had to like unplug all these cables and everything to get it wired up nicely. But now it's time to go ahead and install the flow bars. So let's go. All 
right guys so i just finished setting up these flow bars and it's insanely good like this is when it's connected to the monitor and everything you can see it's kind of replicating what the images look like on screen so it, it turns to blue it turns to yellow you guys can see that right this is insane so just imagine it you know behind the monitors and everything it would look even better and then of course you know you could jump into the app over here and we could just change the colors by yourself so you could turn down the intensity and the brightness of each bar if you want to and you could up the relative brightness but you also have the scenes so this is like the reading scene movie candle and it literally acts like a candle right there then you have bloom this is sick like <laughs> you also have crossing which goes up and down between the two then the famous rainbow everybody loves the famous rainbow effect i'll probably show you guys up closer because it's probably not showing good right now but yeah these effects on this flow bar is really really good and also you have diy so you could go in and make your custom color um, scheme or color scene if you want to I have this 3M adapter it came with as well. I'm just gonna use the slot thing, push it in there, and then stick this to the back of my two monitors, and trust me, that's gonna look really, really good. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Finally guys, everything is finished. The, the changes are very subtle, but it's there. So the first thing we looked at was the lights. As you guys can see, it's going crazy right now. So we have the ones up here, and we also have the Govee lights down here. And it works with Google, so I could say, okay, turn the table light to yellow. Okay, change the table light to purple. Boom, just like that. So if you don't want anything to be going like crazy with the effects, you could do that as well. But as I said before, this is the reason I like this because I make so much content on TikTok and stuff like that. Being able to like separate myself from other people with cool table lights is gonna be a game changer for me personally. And you have a lot of different scenes you could choose from, tons. There's just so many in here, guys. I don't even know if I could go over everything. You have the carnival version. You go to life, you could change to a siren. Like a police siren, you have crossing. There's just so much effects you could choose from within the application. And you have the music feature as well. So if I'm playing some music, which I'll do right now. So as you guys can see, it's going with the music. That's sick. Fire. But yeah, that's just the tip of the iceberg with these LED light strips. Jump inside the app, there's so much more stuff it could do. But as you guys can see, we also installed the Govi Flow Bars Pro. So these flow bars, as you can see the camera up here, you saw me install that. That allows it to capture images on the screen and release that onto the flow bars. Mind blown, I know. So I'm gonna um, turn the lights off so you guys can actually see what it looks like because I then attached them to the two monitors. So I have one on the right and one on the left monitor and it looks really good at night time. So yeah, as you guys can see, in my opinion, it does a really good job, right? Just by using this camera up here. It was also super easy to set up. So let me know what you guys think. Showing all the reds, the girl come, it shows the brown. It has a slight delay, I'm not gonna lie. Probably like a couple mini seconds or so slight delay. But in my opinion, this works really well. And inside the app, if you have like two monitor setup, you could use their split screen mode or the full screen mode and also you could choose from gaming or movie so it knows what it's doing and of course you could also sync this with music as well 
So as you can see, my voice as it's talking, it's like reverbing and everything. So if you're just playing with music, it will synchronize with that and it could just change the rhythm. Video, it still has all the different color modes and scenes as well. So yeah, this thing is really nice. All right, so last but not least, we have this upgrade, the Elgato Wave 3 microphone. And I didn't even want to upgrade just because of the mic itself, but the software this thing has is next level. I was having a lot of issues with this right here, the Logitech Blue Yeti X. It's owned by Logitech, that's why I said that. But the Blue Yeti X, man, it costs so much and the software is just really, it has so much bugs, it's crazy. And the microphone sounds really weird at times. So hopefully this Wave 3 is a little bit better. All right, so if you guys know me well, you know that I stream on Twitch a lot. And because of this new feat, like the Wave, I think it's called the Wave Link software, it allows me to put like different audio channels into this. It's like a virtual audio mixer. So you know people buy like um, Go XLRs and all that stuff. This has a built-in virtual audio mixer so I could send in audio from Spotify to my stream while I'm listening to something else. So I could be listening to my personal music, but then I could let you guys control another um, sound that's coming through. It's crazy, right? But that's how it works. It's like a virtual mixer. I think it's really genius. Also, the build quality so far of the mic, it, feel, it feels really nice. You know, you have a couple buttons here. This is why I don't really like the pop filter. I might just take it off, guys. But here you can see, like, we could control the mic gain. You control the headphone gain. I also got the shock mount and all that stuff. But what's really cool is that this thing comes with a built-in pop filter. So I don't really need this pop filter. So I'm going to do a sound test between the Wave 3 and the Blue Yeti X and also with the pop filter and without the pop filter. So let me know what you guys think. Alright guys, so this is the Blue Yeti X right now. I have it fairly decent amount of space from me right now. So this is what it sounds like. No blue voice enabled, none of that stuff. So let's go. The small pup gone a hole in his sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. So yes, that's the Blue Yeti X. Now let's hear what the Elgato Wave 3 sounds like. Alright guys, now this is the Wave 3. And also, this is without the pop filter. I was using the pop filter, but I just thought it looked better without it. But yeah, that's just a personal thing. So let me also know if there's a difference without or with the pop filter. So this is without. The small pop, not a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. Now let's do it with the pop filter. The small pop, not a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned the bent hook. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. So yeah, that was with the pop filter. Let me know if you guys hear a difference. And also let me know down below in the comments what sounds better. Is it the Wave 3 or the Blue Yeti X? So for the most part upgrade, I'm not going to lie guys. I'm, I haven't been playing games that much recently. But I want to get back into it. But since I wasn't really playing games that much, I thought this Orbit Key desk mount would be a really good addition. It, it kind of adds a little bit of contrast from the white desk. Also... It has this nice little cool feature right here. So if you lift up, you can see we have a little compartment under here. This nice felt material. So this thing is magnetic. Boom. So if you have like cables running from your desk, you could just leave this on top of it. So your cables won't like go flying around the back of the desk, which gets really annoying. So some small quality of life features. And overall, the desk mask feels really premium and nice. Really good upgrade in my opinion. All right, so that wraps it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hope it wasn't too long, but I have to keep it short because we have more coming. I'm, I'm working on that office workspace setup makeover video, guys. It's going to be insane. You don't want to miss it. Also, we got our 100,000 subscriber YouTube plaque, which I will unbox soon. So you don't want to miss that as well. So if you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe. Drop a like on the video. Share with your friends because the YouTube algorithm loves it. You know what I'm saying? But as always, guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.